Stop applying your skincare routine on an airplane. I know it's a huge trend right now, but it's actually worse for your skin. So I'm gonna tell you why. I've seen way too many people apply their skincare routine or even face masks on an airplane. And the truth is, once you're on the airplane, it's already too late. Think about it. The air on an airplane is extremely dry, recycled air. Dry air wants moisture and it takes it wherever it can get it. And your skin is the perfect target. So the minute you step onto an airplane, your skin starts to dry out. Now, if you're on a short flight, like an hour, maybe two hours, then don't worry about it. But if you're on a really long flight, then you really need to do your skincare routine ahead of time. And you have to load up on moisture. First, layer an essence onto your clean skin. An essence is like a lightweight serum moisturizer. In Korea, where they're from, they're used to add a little bit of hydration to prep your skin right before a serum. This one from Natura Bisse is called a toner, but it's really more of an essence because it has a hydrating gel-like texture. It also contains betaines that keep the skin from losing water. I use a layering technique to apply it and really get all the hydrating benefits. First, I apply a little to a cotton pad and swipe it over my skin to remove any impurities. Then I use my hands to apply it two more times. Next, I apply a water-based serum with hyaluronic acid. This one from SkinCeuticals combines hyaluronic acid with vitamin B5 to nourish and moisturize the skin. Hyaluronic acid helps to draw moisture to your skin, so it's great before the next step, which is moisturizer. When I travel, I like to use a really thick moisturizer to lock it all in. This one from Votary is super creamy and contains 21 nourishing super seed oils to help create a barrier between your face and the dry air on the plane. I especially like it because it's fragrance-free and won't irritate your skin. Then I apply a super thick lip balm to protect my lips because you never want them naked. Skipping this step might be the reason why you always feel like your lips are chapped on vacation. I like this one from Sarah Hap. It contains chamomile to soothe and jojoba and sweet almond oil to nourish the lips. Next up, face oil. Oil acts as a barrier to prevent moisture deep in your skin from evaporating. I like a face oil like this one from Biosance because it contains squalene oil, which is a great ingredient to look for because it hydrates and also helps retain moisture in your skin. Also, don't overdo it. You only really need a couple of drops. By the way, oil and lip balm are the only two products you should reapply on the airplane every two hours. And if my flight is during the day, I make sure to always wear sunscreen. Wearing SPF on an airplane is crucial. You're closer to the sun than you'll ever be, and the ozone layer is thinner, so you're truly exposed. This one from Dermalogica is a bonus because it also adds an extra layer of moisture. Another big tip, make sure your skincare products are alcohol-free, especially for a flight, because alcohol can be very drying to the skin. On the subject of alcohol, it's drying if you drink it too, so I steer clear of it and I only drink water, but you do you. Also, ditch your hydrating mist. You don't want to spray your face on an airplane. The reason goes back to why you just don't want to do your skincare routine on an airplane in the first place. Water attracts water. So if you mist your skin, it wets it and then attracts the moisture in your skin and together it all evaporates. Now, if you really care about your skin, it's also important to pamper your skin after the flight. As soon as I get to the hotel, I make sure to cleanse my skin with an alpha hydroxy acid exfoliator. That way I get rid of any dead skin cells and impurities I picked up on the trip. This one from Drunk Elephant is a chemical exfoliator that contains 25% AHA and 2% BHA, so you're getting some serious exfoliation. Then I like to follow it up with a hydrogel mask like this one from Kiehl's. It's very hydrating and contains cold-pressed Amazonian oils to refine and smooth your skin. After the mask, I go through my normal skincare routine. I know it's hard to keep a consistent skincare routine when you travel, but if you don't wanna shock your skin, you should try to use your normal routine. Plus, a trip is not the time to test a new product. I'm the kind of person that will check a bag to have the right products with me, but if you wanna cut down on size, then you just need travel containers. 
And there you have it, all of my travel skincare tips. Tell me in the comments below if you've been applying your skincare routine on an airplane and if you plan to stop. Find us in our private Facebook group called Beauty and Wellness Questions Answered. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.